One of the greatest waterfront strolls is along the promenade in Nice. And we're gonna show you how to get the most of it with sunset views and then up the castle hill, continuing the next morning with a visit to the open market at Cour Salea and taking you right to the great viewpoint at the end of the beach and then up to the top of Castle Hill for a spectacular view looking down over the town and the harbor. To get this view, you walk along the east end of the waterfront promenade on the Quai des Estats Unis, and to the end you'll have this rocky outcrop with a terrace with a commanding view looking back along the pebbly beach of Nice. The view gets even more spectacular when you go up to the top of Castle Hill, or as they call it, the Chateau. Here's a quick view from Google Earth showing how the hill of the castle towers over the old town of Nice and the city beyond. The easiest way to get up to the top of this hill is take the elevator. You pay a small fee, it's about one euro, and it's well worth it. Otherwise, you've got to walk up a huge staircase. It's the equivalent of going up over 100 meters high. So it's really way up in the sky. You don't want to walk it if you can avoid it. So take the elevator. It's quick, it's simple, especially late in the day like this. There's no crowd, there's no line. And you come out on top and start enjoying the view. And right away, you're looking down on the old town and the Corsalea. There's all the booths getting ready for the next morning's market. And you can walk up a little higher. This little small child can make it. Oh, it's a big climb for this little girl. So that shows you can do it, no problem. So keep walking when you get up to the top. They even have a waterfall. It's an artificial waterfall that was put here in the 1830s to help attract the tourist nobility from England and the rest of France to come on down and visit Nice. The shoreline view gets even better as the night lights come on. While you're up on the hill enjoying the town view, be sure to walk to the other side of the hill for the harbor view. And there's a beautiful green park in between. Looking down from the other side of the hill, you see the small boat harbor called Port Limpia. And in the distance, Cape Denise. It's believed this Castle Hill was the site of some of the earliest settlements in the area. They lived up here for self-defense. In very early times, the Ligurians, who were the first inhabitants of Nice, had their dwellings up on the rock of the castle. And later, it's probable that the earliest Greek settlers lived there. But as times became more settled, they began spreading down onto the plain and the old hill town became a mere fortress to be used in time of need. And a fortress it remained, developing as centuries followed each other into a great and impregnable castle. If you have the patience or the proper timing to stick around for the late sunset, it reaches the visual peak. This is really grand with the lights blazing down below, the golden sunset off in the horizon. This makes for one of those travel events that you will just never forget. And when you're done, you can take that same elevator ride back down again, timing it so that you get down before the elevator shuts for the evening. Or you could walk down, it's not as hard as walking up, but so much easier to just simply ride the elevator. And then next morning, get ready for another fun day in Nice. When visiting Nice, we enjoy staying at the Beau Rivage Hotel. It's a four-star property that's located right on the edge of the old town, right next to Courcelea, just one block in from the beach. So you're really in a perfect location. Another block away, you find Place Massena. And they put on a great breakfast. Breakfast is included in the price of your room in nearly all European hotels, so it makes a good start for the day. Those delicious croissants, you've got coffee and cereals, some fruits. It's a nice time to chat with your fellow travelers, catch up on what happened last night and get ready for the day ahead. Another big day coming up. Nice is the largest city along the Côte d'Azur and 
makes an ideal home base for seeing all of the sights along the coast. It is one of the most beautiful places and offers a large number of hotels and restaurants in all price ranges. Nice is centrally located with excellent rail and bus services that connect all of the towns along this coastline. One of the great street markets of France is located here in the wide Cours Soleil. This plaza features fresh produce and flowers throughout the day and many of these stalls are open right into the early evening. Except on Mondays when it becomes an antique market and some other used goods peddled by colorful vendors. I was out quite early for a walk right after breakfast and was surprised to find so many people out. The cafe was alive, there was customers sitting around, this is most unusual, and the lighting was beautiful. It seemed like too good to be real. It almost seemed like, uh, wait a minute, it is a movie shoot. Yeah, these guys have got their equipment and cameras and. They're working hard at about 7.30 in the morning. It's almost inevitable if you spend enough time in these beautiful places, you're going to run into film productions. Maybe they're shooting a commercial, perhaps it's an episode for a television program, maybe it's a feature film. There might even be a famous star around somewhere. But it's best just to kind of stay out of their way. You can take a look, you can take a few pictures if you like, but just don't cause any problems. Another surprise this early was to see so much action at a pub. Well, they drank a lot of beer last night, apparently. They've got to restock all those barrels. We have created many more movies about this area, the Côte d'Azur, the French Riviera, that you can find on our channel, so have a look. You'll see programs about Cannes and Monaco, Monte Carlo, Saint Paul, Vance, Villefrance, all around through the region, including Antibes, and we really enjoy using Nice as our home base.